Have you ever stood in a grocery store, staring at a row of glowing green juices, wondering if that bottle is really as healthy as it looks? Maybe you've seen influencers rave about it on social media, calling it the secret to their energy, glowing skin, or super clean gut. Or maybe your doctor told you to eat more greens, and juicing felt like a shortcut to better health. Either way, green juice has become a global symbol of wellness. It looks healthy, it sounds healthy, and it even feels healthy when you drink it. But what if I told you that for people with diabetes, just one sip of green juice could change your blood sugar in a way that's much more powerful and potentially more dangerous than you think? Before we continue, I'd like to tell you about Daya Salon, a powerful blend of 13 natural ingredients, each carefully selected for their proven ability to support healthy blood sugar levels, enhance insulin sensitivity, and promote overall wellness. You can read more on diacelon.com. We all know that managing diabetes means being mindful of carbs and sugar, right? But what most people overlook is that liquid sugar, even when it comes from fruit or vegetables, hits your bloodstream much faster than solid food. And in the case of green juice, the story gets even more complicated. That vibrant plant-packed drink might be delivering vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, or it might be delivering a massive sugar hit dressed up as health food. And here's the kicker. Both outcomes are possible depending on what's inside the juice and what's inside you. Yep, your individual insulin response, your gut health, your medication, and even the time of day can all play a role in what happens after just one sip. Whether you've been living with diabetes for years or you're just starting to pay closer attention to your blood sugar, this video is for you. By the end, you'll know exactly what happens after just one sip. And you'll be armed with the knowledge to enjoy green juice in a way that supports your body, your energy, and your long-term health goals. Let's dive deep into the truth about green juice and diabetes and what you need to know before your next sip. So what exactly is green juice? On the surface, it seems simple. A vibrant green liquid made by extracting the juice from vegetables, most commonly leafy greens like kale, spinach, Swiss chard, parsley, or dandelion. But to improve the taste and make it more palatable, many recipes, both homemade and commercial, add sweet fruits like apples, pears, pineapples, or even grapes. You might also find lemon, ginger, celery, cucumber, or herbs mixed in. On paper, this sounds like a supercharged nutrient boost, and to be fair, it can be. You're getting vitamins like A, C, K, folate, and minerals like magnesium and potassium, plus antioxidants and chlorophyll. That's the health halo green juice is known for. But here's the catch. Once you remove the fiber through juicing, you're left with a very different kind of food, one that's highly concentrated in natural sugars especially if the fruit content is high. And for people with diabetes, natural sugar is still sugar. Without the buffer of fiber to slow down absorption, that juice can hit your bloodstream faster than you realize. It's not just what's in the juice, it's how it behaves in your body that matters most. Let's zoom into what happens inside your body immediately after just one sip. Digestion begins the second that juice enters your mouth. Enzymes in your saliva start breaking down carbohydrates, and because the juice is in liquid form and fiber-free, it requires almost no effort from your digestive system. The glucose is rapidly absorbed into your bloodstream, typically within 10 to 15 minutes. In that time, your blood sugar levels can spike, especially if the juice contains fruit sugars. For a person with normal insulin function, the pancreas responds by releasing insulin, which helps shuttle the glucose into cells. But for someone with type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes or insulin resistance, that insulin response is often impaired or delayed. This can lead to a prolonged spike in blood glucose, which over time contributes to inflammation, fatigue, oxidative stress, and damage to blood vessels and nerves. The body may overcompensate by producing too much insulin in a delayed fashion, leading to a blood sugar crash later, the dreaded sugar roller coaster. And what's worse, when consumed regularly, these repeated spikes and crashes can contribute to insulin resistance getting worse. But now here's where things start to get interesting. Green juice doesn't have to be the enemy. Far from it. Not all green juices are created equal. If your juice is mostly made from low glycemic, high fiber vegetables like spinach, 
kale, celery, cucumber, and even herbs like parsley or mint, it will behave very differently in your body. These ingredients are rich in micronutrients, but very low in sugar. When consumed without added fruits, these juices often have little to no impact on blood sugar, and some may even support metabolic health. Leafy greens in particular are loaded with magnesium, a mineral that helps regulate insulin activity and glucose metabolism. They also contain folate and polyphenols that reduce inflammation and support vascular health. These compounds have been shown in studies to improve insulin sensitivity over time. So a well-balanced green juice, low in sugar, high in greens, can actually be an asset in managing diabetes, especially if consumed wisely. It can act almost like a nutritional supplement, not for calories or carbs, but for bioactive compounds your body needs to function better. Now let's talk about the ripple effect after that first sip over the next hour or two. If your juice was fruit heavy, the immediate blood sugar spike may be followed by a crash, leading to increased hunger, cravings, or even brain fog. For people on medications like insulin or sulfonylureas, this crash can even cause hypoglycemia. That's why timing and composition are crucial. But if the juice was low in sugar and rich in greens, something completely different happens. Your body receives a surge of phytonutrients, antioxidants like lutein, beta-carotene, and flavonoids that reduce oxidative stress and protect your cells. Your liver, which plays a major role in blood sugar regulation, begins using those compounds to reduce internal inflammation. Your mitochondria, the tiny energy engines inside your cells, may function more efficiently. Over time, consistent intake of these plant compounds can lower HbA1c, improve fasting glucose, and even reduce insulin resistance. In this case, the green juice acts like a metabolic tune-up rather than a sugar bomb. Now let's take a moment to discuss one of the most common misconceptions, that green juice is always healthy. This is where even health-conscious consumers can get misled. Many commercial green juices are marketed with words like detox, immune boost, or cleanse. But when you read the label, sugar content can be shockingly high, sometimes 25 to 35 grams per serving. That's nearly as much as a can of soda. And the ingredients? Often apple juice, pineapple, mango, or grape juice are listed first, followed by a token amount of spinach or kale. These juices look green but are essentially glorified fruit drinks. And because they're in liquid form, their sugars bypass many digestive checkpoints. No chewing, no fiber, no delay. That makes them highly glycemic. For a person with diabetes, regularly drinking these kinds of green juices can silently sabotage blood sugar control, even if they feel like they're doing something healthy. This is why ingredient literacy is essential. Knowing how to read labels, understand glycemic index, and recognize hidden sugars is key to making smarter choices. So what's the practical answer? Should you avoid green juice entirely? Not at all. The trick is to become the architect of your juice. When you make your own green juice at home, you have total control over what goes into the glass. Start with a strong base of leafy greens, the darker the better. Spinach, kale, collard greens, arugula, dandelion greens, and parsley are all excellent. Then add hydrating veggies like cucumber and celery to give it volume and a mild taste. Include lemon or ginger for flavor and digestive support. If you must add fruit, keep it minimal. Maybe a quarter of a green apple or a handful of berries. Then consider pairing your juice with a high fiber meal or adding something to slow the absorption, like flax seed, chia seeds, or even a small scoop of protein powder. And here's a pro tip. Never drink green juice on an empty stomach. Doing so can amplify any sugar spike. Instead, drink it with or after a meal when your body's already processing other nutrients. This buffers the glycemic impact and gives you the benefits without the risks. Let's go deeper into the science for a minute. Did you know that green vegetables may actually contain compounds that actively improve blood sugar regulation? Magnesium, which is often deficient in people with diabetes, improves how insulin binds to its receptors and helps your muscles absorb glucose. Chlorophyll, the pigment that gives plants their green color, has been shown to support liver detoxification and reduce oxidative damage, both of which play roles in metabolic dysfunction. 
Even bitter greens like dandelion and arugula can stimulate bile flow and aid digestion, which indirectly improves nutrient absorption and glycemic balance. There's even emerging research showing that nitrates in leafy greens may help regulate blood pressure and insulin sensitivity by improving blood flow. So when you drink a properly made green juice, you're not just avoiding a blood sugar spike, you're feeding your body the tools it needs to heal and function better over time. Finally, consider blending instead of juicing. A green smoothie made with whole vegetables and fruits keeps the fiber intact, slowing digestion and giving you a much more sustained release of nutrients. A blended drink with spinach, avocado, chia seeds, cucumber, and unsweetened almond milk can be both satisfying and blood sugar friendly. You can even add cinnamon, which has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, or protein powder to further slow glucose absorption. Unlike juice, a smoothie won't leave you hungry an hour later. The fiber also feeds your gut microbiome, which plays a massive role in inflammation, appetite regulation, and, yes, blood sugar control. The better your gut health, the better your metabolic control. So whether you choose to juice, blend, or both, understanding the why behind it gives you power. So now that we've taken this deep dive into the world of green juice and its effects on diabetes, let's zoom out and bring everything together. Because if you've made it this far, you're not just someone casually sipping juice, you're someone who cares. You're someone actively looking to understand your body, your health, and how even the smallest choices, like one sip of a green drink, can create a ripple effect on your energy, your mood, your glucose, and your long-term well-being. We've learned that green juice is far from a one-size-fits-all solution. It can either act as a powerful ally in managing your blood sugar, or as a sneaky saboteur that spikes glucose levels, triggers insulin resistance, and leaves you feeling worse, not better. That's why the conversation around green juice needs to be more honest, more detailed, and more personalized. Because for people living with diabetes, this isn't just about trends or aesthetics. It's about taking back control. It's about knowing what fuels your body versus what tricks it into a short-term high that leads to long-term damage. You now know that what's in that bottle or that homemade glass matters deeply. Is it loaded with dark leafy greens and low sugar veggies? Great, that's fuel, that's medicine, that's a nutritional upgrade. But is it half apple juice mixed with pineapple and just a splash of kale to make it green? That's a blood sugar trap wearing a health halo. And the reality is most people never read the labels, never question the ingredients and never realize what's happening inside their bodies until it's too late. But now you do. You know how digestion starts within minutes, how glucose absorption happens fast without fiber, and how insulin response varies from person to person. You understand the importance of timing, of pairing juice with a meal, of minimizing fruit and maximizing greens. You've learned about chlorophyll, magnesium, polyphenols, the hidden heroes that can heal your cells from the inside out when used correctly. That's not just knowledge, that's power. So the next time you're about to take that first sip of green juice, ask yourself, what's really in this glass? Am I fueling my body or feeding a sugar spike? Am I drinking this because it looks healthy or because it actually is healthy? That small moment of awareness can change everything. And that's what this whole video is really about. Not just green juice, but empowered choices. Knowing what works for your body, asking the right questions, and never letting a trendy label make decisions for your health. Because in the end, managing diabetes isn't about restriction, it's about intelligent freedom. It's about understanding how your body works and then choosing foods and drinks that help it thrive.